Hello, it's CIS team. Taking a look at the Mighty More software for Windows 10. So, let's take a look at the shape tool today. This one looks like a rectangle. It may have different icon on it with different shapes on it. It will always show you the last shape that you've drawn. I'm going to press on this. When I press on that, it gives me some of the more popular shapes that you can use. For example, I've got my rectangle. I can go here, draw a rectangle. If I want to draw a circle, I can press here, and it's going to draw a circle. Triangle, I can do the same thing here. So I have all my shapes. I can just click out and get away from those submenus. Now, so I have various shapes that I have here. Now, I'm going to add a new page, so I'm going to my floating toolbar here. I'm going to hit the little plus sign for a new page, so we can take a look at some more shapes. This shape tool icon is like any of the other icons. Always press it again to get more features. So now if you take a look here, I've got different types of triangles. I've got uh, six shape, uh, six sided shapes, things like that. I can pick any of these. So if I want to draw an octagon, choose an octagon, I can go here. And as you draw shapes, you will get a menu that pops up. If you want to choose trash can, it will delete it. You can choose the lock. When you lock it, it will now be locked in place. So now that this item is locked, I don't have to worry about accidentally moving it or deleting it as I write on it. Of course, if I want to unlock it, all I have to do is press the lock and unlock it. Now, I do have different options here. I can make it fade in. I can copy. I can flip it. You have nice little angle measures here. This gives me all my side measures plus my angles. I can always press it again to turn that off. If I want to cut it into pieces, I can press that. Notice that it's cut into pieces. Turn that off. Oops. There's a circle inside. Now there's a circle around that object. So any of the math stuff that you need, there's a good, good chance that it's in there. You've got different fill colors different colors that you can apply to this object uh, and reuse. You have your copy and paste, which are located here, so you can do that. There's also a um, duplicate where you can do like your infinite cloner, which would be here. And now I can just simply choose and move that around, and I can drag and move these any way I want to. So very useful tools on that. I'm going to add yet another page to this so we continue our discussion. Let me just hit plus, get a nice blank page. I'm going to my shape tool, I'm going to press here, press it twice, and I'm going to pull up a circle. So let's take a circle, let's draw a circle, because I do want to show you something that's really cool about a circle that some of the other ones do, some of the other options do not have. So I've got my circle. I'm going to choose my select tool here. If I don't, it'll keep drawing circles. So I'm going to press here, select my circle. You do have the cut feature here, where it's going to cut it into pieces. When I press here on a circle, it asks me how many slices do I want to cut this. This is very useful for fractions. In this case, I'm going to say, let's cut it into six pieces. Notice it takes that circle, cuts it into six pieces. And besides that, and again, I've got my selection tool selected. In addition to that, what's cool about circles, you can pull the pieces apart. So really cool that you can go in and do that. You do have undo and redo. I always recommend undo to slide it back in, get it perfectly back in place. But in this case, I could take a circle and I just hit undo to take the slices out. I'm going to select my circle. I'm going to do my infinite clone. And I'm going to drag a circle over here. And let's take a look at what we can do. I'm going to take this circle, cut it into two pieces. I'm going to take this circle, cut in. Whoops, I actually cloned it again. I'm going to take this circle. Let me click out of here. I can take this circle, turn off the clone, I'm going to cut it into four pieces, take this circle, 
and I can cut it into many pieces. So where are we going with this? Well, let's take this half here, drag it. You can see that a half is the same as two fourths. A half is the same as four eighths. So it's kind of nice that you can now drag and drop these images.